Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Birds are chirping. It's a spring day. The pups are playing. We're getting an early start today. It's Friday. A lot of stuff going on today. I got to get to the gym really quick, get the first workout in. Then we got to head to Knox. We got to go get some labels. Shoot, I forgot about that. I got to go get labels for the coffee bags. I got. We're going to go to Knoxville. Today is it's the, uh, I don't know which convoy it is. It's the Freedom Convoy, I think. I don't know. There's so many convoys. The People's Convoy, the Freedom Convoy, the eight convoys merging with one convoy, then going the north route, then going the southeast route, then going to, I don't know. So truckers going to DC, which I have my own thoughts on it, kind of mixed feelings on it, but we're gonna go support them anyways. I'm gonna support anybody that's kind of, you know, pushing for freedom and all that stuff, but uh, we got a busy day, so we're gonna get started. You okay? You good? All right, let's go. I am excited about these. So if you if you followed us for a little bit, and you know we got the coffee company, Fred's Roast, you kind of see the progression of a small business starting, you know, and getting to getting little milestones and stuff, right? Well, obviously having printed bags would be simply amazing. Uh, but minimum order quantities are like 10,000, so the cost and stuff for a small business is just doesn't make sense. I started everything with $40, so we're kind of building off of $40 right now. So each little step we make is huge in our eyes. So bags, started with brown bags, moved to black bags, split black and white bags so you can tell the difference between ground and beans. I've always put our own stickers, we label it, you know, we, yeah, we spend a little bit more on stickers and stuff, but it's cheaper than printing bags at 10,000 bags. So now we've moved on to this label. I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to show. If y'all order a bag, you're gonna see it. That's exciting. And a huge, huge shout out to Lloyd over here at Pro Signs in Maryville. Um, he's back off of Montvale and Six Mile. He's been fantastic. I send him, you know, the files, and I'm like, hey, like I'm trying to make this or come up with this, and he offers suggestions, and that's how we've gotten to that point with these labels. But they do fantastic work here. Uh, they do shirt, like anything that you need promotional or advertising. I mean, they do wraps on vehicles, which hopefully we'll be getting the trailer done. Shirts, stickers, hats, banners, anything you need. But uh, yeah, huge thanks to him because he's been a great part of us. Just got to the pilot off of the 40. It's off Strawberry Plains. That's where uh, the convoy will be coming and they will be parking and kind of hanging out for a little bit while uh, a lot of these uh, patriotic freedom fighters back here are gonna feed them and just thank them for doing what they're doing going to DC. So uh, let's, go, let's go see what's going on.
all right. So, uh, <laughs> it is crazy how loud just simply five truck horns are. And then 10 come. And then 20. It really puts it into perspective what was going on in Canada with their convoy. And you had the entire downtown area with trucks blasting their horns when you hear the honk honk that was loud i couldn't even i couldn't even talk to babs on the phone uh really cool i've got some thoughts on this share them when i get home it's it's a little warm we need to turn this car on and get going home uh it hits 70 in tennessee and it's hot but don't be fooled like i said um winter returns next week unfortunately all right so the neighbor charles told me about this spot now, this this is Charles telling you how to get there. He's, yeah, you go back to Alcoa to the police station, turn left, there's a red barn, turn right at the second tree, and then you'll find it. So I found it just by Google searching soil. Uh, Kellum's Mulch. So they got topsoil. So we're gonna grab some topsoil for those garden boxes really quick. Okay, so yeah, you could do, um, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, Black for Spring Black Fridays, but it's not a deal. Two for five and you get these tiny bags. You gotta buy a hundred bags to make them go anywhere. So I figured we'd stop by here. Seems like a decent little spot. So uh, we're gonna get this. He looks like the loader to switch buckets. They're used to filling up dump trucks. We got, I, obviously my truck's not big. So he's switching out buckets for the loader. And then uh, we'll get a scoop of this, put it in the box, see how it does. Maybe we gotta come get a second one. I don't know, we'll see though. But uh, yeah, kind of excited about this. Just, I know I'm a little sidetracked, just wanted to fill, fill everybody in just in case somebody else needs mulch or something like that. I had to give that gentleman a compliment. He is driving that little loader, scooping soil, all while eating pizza. Yeah, man's gotta have his pizza, okay? I have respect for that. You go ahead and eat. If you wanna multitask, by all means. Oh my gosh. So I got home and I backed the truck up to the garden boxes. I was gonna start unloading soil, putting them in the boxes. And I was like, you know what? I should put like landscape matting down or something just to prevent all the soil from going through the leaves and ending up at the bottom. Then I have to put more soil. So I don't have landscape matting. But I do a frost blanket, extra cut pieces, so I was just gonna line it with frost blankets. So I went up to the garage above the fridge where I have my coffee bean bags and the old frost blanket and I pulled down the old frost blanket bag and somehow it got caught on like our pruning shears. And I took those straight to the head, right above my eye. It was bleeding pretty bad earlier. I don't know. Can you see it? <sighs> Stitches or not? Those are two good little gash. Ow. Oh. Well, I want to clean oh. it off and see. Oh my gosh. Talk about bonehead play. So those hanging up there. And I was trying to pull this bag down. But I don't get how they got hit. But I mean, obviously, that's not a good spot to put those. My goodness. That's what hit. Ah, oh, freaking A. I mean, if anything, that's gonna swell up. I don't think I need stitches. But that thing went, dude, that could have been my eye. That could have been really bad. Oh, I'm gonna have a headache. <laughs> 